In today's video, we're opening up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th Anniversary Set, Duelist Nexus. What's up guys, we're back with another new Yu-Gi-Oh! opening video. In this video, we have Duelist Nexus booster boxes that we will be opening up. We have actually opened a Duelist Nexus box before, it was in the OCG, but this is the new TCG release that came out today Air locals and Friday for like everywhere, like Walmarts and stuff like that. I'm super excited for this because there's 25 new 25th anniversary uh, secret rares or quarter century secret rares, whatever we want to call them. And the new Magician of Bonds and Unity, let's get that right. Kind of a, you know, long tongue twister kind of name, but this is the card where there's four different versions coming in the next four core sets so we're going to try and pull that in this video but first we have a giveaway i'll be giving away everything we pull in this video just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what card you want to see from this set let's get into it before we get into the opening if you guys want to grab some of this yourself check out my link down below with sassy auto you can get five percent off and it's also an affiliate link for me so i appreciate if you guys do that it's a win-win for everyone i get something sassy gets something you guys get something it's the ultimate trifecta all right let's start opening up we have 48 packs to open today hopefully you guys are excited for the new set i always love opening new sets uh i think we're just not going to do a pack trick i don't remember what it is i think it's four okay there's a super rare right there yeah, very cool new set coming out. There is a big secret rare called the Revolution Synchron in this set. It's about 60 bucks as of right now. Remember, this is pre-release, so everything is gonna be a little bit more expensive or most things are gonna be a little bit more expensive than they will in a few days when it releases on Friday and everyone can sell on TCG and everything like that and bring more competition to the pricing. But, you know, it gives you an idea of kind of where the prices are. We have Greed Jar, look at this. That's cool. We have a new pot of greed like mixed with a I don't know, a jar. So Pot of Greed and Jar of Everything. Jar of Greed? Yeah, Jar of Greed has one. Yeah, and Jar of Generosity. Pot of Generosity. Is there a Jar of Generosity? I can't remember now. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Split Mirror. We have a Chimera Fusion. What is this for? Chimera Fusion. Very cool. I mean, it's not Guardian Chimera related, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Too much reading. Can't do it right now. We, we got stuff to open. The uh, the cool cards, I mean, 25th anniversaries are in here. 25 different ones. Unchained Soul. Lord of Yama, our first non-super rare. That's a pretty cool card. Two Fiend Monsters to make that link. I don't know how many. I think most of these cards are not reprints, but isn't E. Pearly Noir? Isn't that a old card? I thought these were all, this is a core set. Maybe, they, maybe that's just a similar name to a... Because I know there's a Noir. Maybe it's Pearly Noir. I don't know. The, their names in, in the Pearly archetype are very close to each other. So maybe that's just a new card that I thought sounded like another one. In for Noble Knight Turpin. Yeah, this is a core set, so these should all be new. That's the cool part. Like, in the, in the Battles of Legends set, we had 25, like, basically reprint 25th anniversaries. And this, we're going to have a bunch of new 25th anniversaries, so that's fun. Nightmare Magician, our first secret rare. Very nice, you got those Dark Magician stats, except Dark Magician might be 2100 defense, I think. That's pretty cool, 2500 attack, Nightmare Magician. Honestly, a really cool looking card. It doesn't look like there's a ton of value though in this set in the uh, in the secrets outside of the Revolution Synchron. The second highest is 16 bucks, so it's not that crazy. There's also the Noir, the E Pearly Noir is an ultra that's actually pretty valuable, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I keep, I, I can't really hold, let's do this, I like this better. Oh, 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 Behemoth, the king of 100 battles. Behemoth, the king of all animals, got an upgrade, let's go, that's awesome. Flaming Eternity, the original print of that card. Uh, not that one, but the, you know, the version it's based on. What, Magician of Faithfulness? A Magician of Faith retrain? Okay, we gotta read this. You can target one spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand, then you can special summon one Magician of Faith or Magician of Faithfulness from your deck and face down defense position. It's a recruiter too that puts a face down and gets a spell? That's so cool. It's a flip monster, so it's probably gonna be terrible, but that's actually really awesome. So basically flip it up, you get any spell out of your grave and then you just get another one from the deck and just start flipping and getting uh, spell cards. You can get Pot of Greed, okay. When Pot of Greed comes back, you'll be able to get Pot of Greed over and over. I'm just saying, gonna be sick. That's actually really cool, I like that. Like to see those old cards get a retrain. Uh, Magician of Faith, finally. We have uh, Dadara Bachi and Manadium Torrid. Funny part is back in the day, it's like no one could have imagined that needing a retrain. It's like it's such a good card, but you know, with flips basically being non-existent nowadays, unless there's some kind of crazy effect added in where like they can't be destroyed or something. I don't know, it just doesn't work. Fusion Armament, these new packs, I cannot, I cannot not Ruxin Special. I always Ruxin Special. How about I say that? It's a little bit less confusing. 25th anniversary, I'm trying to open these the best way. We have a Infernoble Knight, Ricardetto. Okay, one secret, one ultra so far. So it hasn't been that many pulls, or maybe two ultras, two ultras, okay. 
Uh, I'm trying to open these in a different way that I won't rux and special. There we go. We have a Sentinel of the Testina. It just wants to go right to the super. It's like, you don't care about these uh, these comments. Speaking of, look at that artwork. Does, it, does that look like... Is that a retrain of an old card too? I feel like it is. That looks familiar. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is that a retrain? That looks like an old card. I like it though. That artwork's really cool. Uh, we've got an Agnimal Candle. Okay. Got to do a... Uh, I'm not going to rux the special. Valence Wave. And a Mighty Dino King Rex. These are... There's a King Rex. Is this an archetype? Based on the... What's his name? The King Rex from like TP1 or whatever he was in? Dude, that is so cool. This set has some really cool stuff in it. Wheel Synchron. We have Rescue Ace. We have Pearly Shaver. I think I have to open them like this. Gaia Blaze. And a Mirror Sword Knight. All right. I don't know what that's based on. Probably nothing, but pretty cool card. I mean, a lot of these feel like retrains, though. A lot of retrains. When we opened the OCG set, go check that out, by the way. We had a great pull. We didn't quite, uh, we couldn't read anything, so it was a little bit harder to know if it was like some sort of retrain or something. Cornfield, we didn't know all this stuff. New World, and also it's a little bit of a different set, I think. Evil Zora Leos. Jurassic Power and Altergeist add many uh, ultra rare. That's a Link 4. Okay. Link 4, two Altergeist monsters. All right. Link 4 is a big one. Three, 3k attack. Not bad. All right. Split Mirror of the Underworld. We have Valence Wave. The Grinosaurus Giga Cannon. Signs of the Tis... Tistina? I don't know what that is. Thestalos, the Shadowfire Monarch. There's more Monarchs coming out. This is crazy. Thestalos got another upgrade. Shadowfire Monarch. That's pretty sick. Okay. Dude, this set is sick. I'm not going to lie. This set is really cool. I like it so far. Uh, and like, it's like low rarity cards that are cool so far. I haven't really cared about any of the foils. I'm not going to lie. Unchained Soul. I like all these super rares and stuff. Uh, Jurassic Park. I'm trying to open this where I won't go right to the rare and there we go Magnum the reliever So I have to open them a little differently greed jar because can't just like can't just swipe through them It literally goes straight to the super because if I go like this It just wants to pull it right to the super when you get to this one We'll see Grant see look look at that. It's trying to go to the super or whatever it is Mikenko and a Chimera fusion more fusions being added in at Yu-Gi-Oh loves a good fusion Okay, we're probably about halfway through we should probably pick it up a little bit. I'm taking a little bit too long Let's see. We've got oh, we've got a ultra rare. Oh, Arahime the manifested Makanko Arahime had another card or something similar to that. It was like one of the best cards in the set. It's a ritual monster um, Whatever set that was it was like the best card. I think an ultra rare Signs of the Testina, Bachi, we have Grinsaurus, we have Makanko, we have Gazelle, the king of mythical claws. Speaking of retrains, Gazelle, what does he do? If this card is normal special summon, you can add one level five fiend monster or one chimera fusion. That's how you get the chimera fusion. So it's talking about, it's talking about uh, Chimera, the flying mythical beast, not guardian Chimera. I guess they might be related. I guess that's the archetype. From your deck to your hand, if this card is sent to the graveyard as material for a fusion summon, you can add one illusion monster from your deck to your hand. Oh, illusion monster. Interesting. So this kind of goes with like dark magician stuff kind of. I don't know if it's going to be good, but pretty interesting. Very cool to see that those are related in a way, I guess, because being on in Yuki's deck, that was enough. They became friends. Agnimal, we have Rescue Ace. More Rescue Aces are added again. Oh, there's a I still Rux and Special to Altergeist. Maul was, there you go, DZ. Altergeist, baby, we're back. And by we, I mean uh, DZ is back, not me. I've never played Altergeist. <laughs> I'm not involved in the we, uh, even though I said we. All right, Cornfield, I'm representing Altergeist players right now. Okay, uh, Phineas Terry. And a secret rare, Sinful Spoils of Subversion, Snake Eye. All right, pretty, honestly, pretty creepy looking artwork. A little bit uh, motivated by or Influenced by Lord of the Rings, it looks like. Okay, I just love this artwork. I like it. It just looks good. Can we get that Revolution Synchron, baby? That's what we want. We want to pull it. We have a Chimera, the Illusion Beast. Some more Chimera stuff. Very cool. Uh, I'm gonna. I guess I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna give up on trying to not rux the special. It's just gonna happen. These are made. Another good reason to the pack trick is that way I can not rux the special right away. It actually kind of works out better. You're finished. Trap card. These new. These new packs. They just do not want you to see all the cards. Ooh, a Takusano. Sikyojin. Okay. Secret rare. That's our third secret rare. So we should have maybe one more, hopefully. Uh, I don't think these are crazy, the ones we're pulling. Uh, the Snake Eye is actually the second best card, though. It's 16 bucks. Oh, and there's the Noir. Yeah, this is definitely a different card than what I was thinking of. That's an $8 ultra rare right now. 
Very solid. Okay, we're getting some decent stuff. We just need to pull that best card, Revolution Synchron, at the end. Duelist Genesis. Well, look, we finally printed a Duelist Genesis card. Still got a few more packs. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Speaking of, there will be a lot more content like this. We'll be opening probably the case of this set. The next couple of days, we're probably doing another video. And then Saturday, we're going to be doing a live stream for you guys to hang out with me while I open a bunch of this set. And we're going to go for the Magician of Bonds and Unity or whatever it's called. I can't remember what that thing's called. We're going to try to pull it. Uh, there will be four chances to get it. They all have different background colors or something. So there's going to be four different versions. So hopefully we can get all four, but we're going to try. We'll see what happens. And also, if you guys want to uh, get some of this yourself, uh, make sure to check out Sassy Auto down below. You get 5% off. Dark Corridor Secret Rare. That's not what we're looking for. Maybe we can get a triple secret box. We're at 25th anniversary. Kind of forgot about those. Kind of the big thing in here. We still haven't gotten one. So that'd be nice if we did. Uh, but yeah, check out Sassy Auto's link down below. You get 5% off using my code. Don't remember what it is. It's something about Nexus Ruxin or something. I don't remember. You guys. Oh, Chimera, the King of Phantom Beasts. A lot of Chimera cards. This is fun. I like this. Let's do this. Can we get a... Okay, Mirror Sword Knight. Can we get a 25th anniversary for you guys to win? Hit that like button if you guys want to win uh, the giveaway. Do everything else. But hit that like button if you guys want to like the video. That is what you do. If you want to like the video, hit the like button, okay? That is how you do it simply oh, oh you're like oh what is this what is this urge i'm getting is that that i want to like the video another magician of faithfulness not quite a play set yet oh that urge maybe i should fulfill that urge and, and click the like button maybe even you might feel the same way toward the subscribe button i don't know i don't know they might not be the same but you know you might have a little feeling toward the subscribe button if you got a little feeling toward the subscribe button make sure to hit it because uh that's what you do all right, we have a Ultimate Bright Knight Ursatron Alpha. Okay. Last few packs here. We're down to like probably eight packs left or something out of our 48. We have a Synchron Force back. What can we pull? We have an Alter Guys again. Give us a 25th anniversary at the end. I mixed these up, so it could be anywhere. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, Alter Guys had many. Did we already pull that? I think we pulled that in both boxes. Stardust Worm. Here it is, here it is. Let's see if we can get that 25th anniversary Hound of the Testina. Okay, cool stuff, cool stuff. Four packs left, four more chances. Technically, two of these could have it. I mean, maybe both boxes had a 25th anniversary. You're finished. You're finished with the opening. You did not get a 25th anniversary. Double-headed Dino King Rex is just really cool. What is this? The Cuckoo Commanded to Crew. What in the world is that? That is an awesome card. Gotta believe, guys. Noble Arms Museum. Okay, that's... All right, look, you see this card? You know why they're in the Museum of the Noble Arms? Is because it's been so long since this deck's been good. They're literally in a museum. That's pretty sad. Two packs left. They both have 25th anniversary, quarter century, secret rares, whatever they're called. We're going to do a pack trick because we're about to pull something crazy. We have the continuing epic of Charles. Storage Pod, Altergeist Revitalization, New World Stars, Grinosaurus, Jurassic Power. I don't know what I'm saying. Million Century, Valence Wave. Okay, Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon? That's awesome. So many retrains. This entire set's retrains. This is amazing. Last pack magic. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content, new content, old content, all kinds of good stuff. Single over top. Here we go. Scrap Iron Sacred Statue. Realm. Small Scuffle. Gaia Blaze the Force of Sun. That seems like a retrain. Behemoth. <laughs> Behemoth. Behemoth. We have Super Heavy Samurai Security. Too bad that deck's wax. Evil Tile and... Ursartic Polar Star, no 25th anniversary today, but don't worry, we have more videos coming up over the next few days and a live stream Saturday, so make sure to check those out. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Macycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Shazam Yusuf, aka Cobra Kai, Orgad Levin, and Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.